Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we are going to cover CNS lecture series which includes uh, all of the topic uh, like bipolar disorder, anxiety, Alzheimer, migraine, ADHD, Parkinson's, sleep disorder, epilepsy, severe depression uh, and schizophrenia. So our first episode and before start the video please subscribe my channel to get notification and stay tuned so let's get started thank you talking about anxiety so we are discussing dsm 5 classification of major type of anxiety number one is a general anxiety and a panic disorder social anxiety obsessive compulsive disorder also are um, considered in anxiety post traumatic stress disorder if you talk about a jet it's, it's a type of general anxiety if individual having at least period of six months and uh, is it uh, so and uh, are more three or more following symptoms like feeling tense restlessness and fatigue or worn out so this is you may be uh, categorized as in a general anxiety disorder if you are talking about a panic uh, anxiety so this is the kind of anxiety which is lasting significant distress impairment not be accounted for by an other medical psychiatric substance use disorder it in it's a period of, of one month or more than so you can consider is a uh, in pa pa panic anxiety panic attack usually a peaks in 10 minutes and lasts no longer than 30 minutes common symptoms experienced during an attacks include sweating, chest pain, dizziness, tachycardia, palpitation, abdominal distress. If you talk about social anxiety disorder, which is we call SAD, so it is a kind of uh, anxiety, intense persistent fear of social uh, situation where individual may be exposed to unfamiliar people to scrutiny by others. So, a fear of situation like a public speaking, talking with strangers, eating, writing, front of other. Uh, common physical symptoms include a blushing, cardiac symptoms, diarrhea, sweating, and tachycardia. I think we all one are suffering with uh, these uh, kind of anxiety. If in a normally, if we note this, so anxiety is obviously it is a psychiatric disorder and it is treatable but so i think we all are suffering with uh, any of these type of anxiety you know the traumatic anxiety and obsessive is a kind of anxiety which is by trade or by the reason but if you talk about general and panic and social anxiety so we all are some have and maybe i have a social anxiety a little bit uh, i have a fear of speaking in public like not that fear I, I i love to speak in front of people but it's kind of symptoms i i have with uh, if i am speaking in front of stage or any presentation so maybe i had not that i have because I, I am used to it now but i had this kind so so this is the kind of anxiety which we are uh, facing in life but it, it will resolve and it will end so there is nothing to worry about everyone has so let's talk about a treatment for these three i will describe the last two one in a separate topic because because as i told you this is a complete disorder types of anxiety but the three i am uh, going to uh, consider in uh, you know uh, in compiled form so the treatment of gad and panic and sad is the antidepressant but the first line if we talk about a first line treatment then it is a SSRIs and venlafaxine this is the first line treatment for these three condition it, it takes weeks to months to get response of these drugs so you don't need to be worried it is not the kind of treatment you have got a tablet and your blood pressure will come down so it, if I'm talking about a psychiatric disease and psychiatric medicine, it takes time. It takes time to uh, 
give its uh, therapeutic effects. So it takes approximately weeks to months. So it is to go with the uh, treatment and we also go for a CBT treatment which is a cognitive behavioral therapy. Um, if you talk about individually GAD, so the, we can use antidepressant, paroxetine, acetalopram, venlafaxin, XR, duroxetine. These are FDA approved for GAD. Anti-anxiety effect from antidepressant occur in two to four weeks. Imipramine, a trophranil TC antidepressant, it can use for a, as a second line for treatment. If you are talking about, so in GAD, the first line is antidepressant and the second line is TCA. For a panic, SSRI are the first line of the treatment and it took uh, approximately 4 weeks or 8 to 12 weeks to get a uh, response to the patient. And we can go for our imipramine as a second line, which is highly effective. However, it is used limited because of its side effect profile. And if you talk about SAD, antidepressant are first line also in SAD. Paroxetine, Cetraline, Venlafaxine, XR, Fluoxetine, XR, Luox, XR, the brand name of it. And Mirtazepine, Adramirone, brand name, and uh, Finazine may be good for a second line treatment. So first line is antidepressant, second line is methazepine and phenylzine. Okay, TCA are not effective in SAD because of its onset of effect may take four to six weeks. Some patients not achieve maximum benefit until 12 weeks. So initially we go for a uh, antidepressant with SAD kind of anxiety. So, about a GAD, GAD, it is a rapid symptom relief for benzodiazepine. If you want to relieve a rapid symptom, you can go for a benzodiazepine because we want a sedative effect for a current symptomatic condition. So, yes, benzodiazepine most useful when used early in treatment in combination with an antidepressant in GAD. So, bispiron, buspa is a known benzodiazepine anxiolytic useful in treatment of GAD. Buspiron is a second line treatment option and may be most useful in patients unable to take benzodiazepine. Other treatment hydroxazine which is brand name Vestril, pregabalin and atypical antipsychotic you can go for it panic benzodiazepine including alprazolam uh, which is xanax clonazepam clonopin or fd approved for panic disorder and diazepam and lorazepam we can also go for it uh, in using in panic disorder so these are the other treatment option. The first treatment option I have described earlier, which is mostly antidepressant. And second, it's TCAs. But in panic, it's a first line. In other option, we can go for a benzodiazepine to relieve symptomatic. Um, phenazine, narcotyl, MAY may be alternative treatment option in panic uh, disorder, anxiety. Said benzodiazepine, gabapentin, which is available in urantine, buspiron, bispar available, pregabal in lyrica, and atypical antipsychotic may be useful in sad type of anxiety. So, if you want to evaluate the treatment in three of the type of anxiety, then GAD treatment response should occur within a four weeks uh, of starting antidepressant. And if you want a much more quick effect, then you can go for a benzodiazepine. Treatment should continue for a one year of period. Uh, treatment sh should solely taper over several months regardless of medicine choosing. So don't be hurry about just stopping the treatment. So it is going to be a taper dose if we want to complete its treatment. Benzodiazepine requires a slow gradual dose reduction due to concern withdrawal such as seizure and reborn symptoms can occur if you abruptly drop it. So in panic condition, it takes six to eight week antidepressant initiation. Benzodiazepine is considered four weeks 
for treatment is all and the treatment should be continued for one to two years and uh, said adequate antidepressant if you are going uh, in said it takes eight to twelve weeks for uh, as relief treatment should be continued same as one to two years so let's talk about OCD Obsessive compulsive disorder, it is a psychiatric disorder characterized by intrusive obsessive thoughts and ritualistic behavior performed to reduce anxiety. So it is a kind of coping approach of patient to reduce his anxiety and enough to be consuming maximum one hour per day if the patient is doing this, any psychiatric symptoms or anything. It is a kind of obsession, obsession is a recurrent, persistent idea, thought, impulse, image that is experienced as intrusive, inappropriate, and causes anxiety or distress. Obsession can have many themes, including aggressive, impulsive, contamination, order, religion, doubt, sexual imagery. So, compulsion is a repetitive act or mental ritual designed to counteract the anxiety and cause the obsession. So obsession is a kind of recurrent persistent idea and compulsion mean interpretation. So common compulsion include hand right hand washing, checking, ordering, need to confess, counting and repeating. Clinical presentation irritable bowel syndrome is also common in OCD patient. If you go for a treatment, then the first line treatment is SSRI in case of OCD and we can go for atypical antipsychotic. SSRI is still considered first line treatment and uh, non-pharmacological treatment is the same as CBT, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. Uh, the effect of CBD may take weeks to months. The goal of treatment should be a reduction in the frequency and severity of symptoms. And uh, another treatment treatment option are uh, serotonergic antidepressant, which is SRI. I have told that it is a basic treatment for OCD, and uh, it includes fluoxetine, which is available Prozac, fluoxamine available Lovox, paroxetine available Paxil, sertraline available Zoloft, fluoxetine available Prozac. Proxime, Luvox, Cetraline, Zoloft, FDA approved for children with OCD. So I have experience in a center of behavior. So I have seen these kind of patient, I mean severe patient in this type condition. Clopramine and a Fresnel uh, name available and I have seen medicine. I have deal with this kind of because you need a proper check and check out if you are working in a normal pharmacy this you have to just deal a process pen and you get to prescribe it but if you are dealing narcotics medicine so you need to be more vigilant more active uh, the, these kind of patients and their their family members are quite tricky because their patients are suffering with mental disease you know the physical disease is another side disease that we can cope with it but a psychiatric disease is a very dangerous disease for the patient and the poor family himself too. So they may be trying to trick with you. So you have to be so alert in, in this kind of pharmacy and situation. So antidepressant with a strong serotonergic property, which is a clomipramine and a phrenal available for OCD both in children and adults. The dose is 25 mg per day and maximum could be 250 mg per day. You can go for antidepressant like menaflexin, Afexor, Metazamine, Remiron available, Phenazine, Nardil brand is available. Another option is atypical antipsychotic which is Olenzapine, Ziprexa name available, Qtapine, Seroquel name available, Respiridone, Respiridol is a multilateral brain I am telling you. So atypical antipsychotic augmented with atypical antipsychotic is recommended after three month trial of a maximum dose 
with antidepressant if you are not going getting result then you can go for this augmented therapy mean you adjuvant therapy like you can add this drug atypical nc psychotic may particularly useful for the treatment of tics kind of disease evaluation it's about a four to six weeks can take uh, you have to go for a one to two years for the treatment a patient fake should fail two or three trials with ssri uh, before moving to clomipramine yani nf combination treatment ssri clopramine or augmented of an antidepressant with an atypical antipsychotic can treat tried in patient with ocd let's talk about uh, ptsd which is a post traumatic stress disorder it is a usual mean there is a kind of stress kind of trauma the patient is go through in the past so these kind of symptoms and these and some traumas are unpredictable so it is a psychiatric disorder large recognized combat related phenomena and uh, it's also in civilian as well diagnose the traumatic event must cause anxiety impairment with interfaith individuals ability to function glassy symptoms can cannot be caused by any psychiatric medical and substance use ptsd re experiencing avoidance increase erosion uh least one symptom from re experience uh, re experiencing avoidance and increase erosion there are three kind of symptoms so at least one symptom from re experiencing domain three symptoms from avoidance domain two symptoms from erosion are required if you are going to uh, uh diagnose patient with ptsd greater than one month period must cause significant impairment in individual life common symptom include re experiencing domain re current bad memories distressing nightmare flashback intense fear anxiety <coughs> with remembering event avoidance domain avoidance of people place activity thoughts feeling as of a traumatic event restricted felt sense of doom diminished pleasure increase arousal domain insomnia irritability anger and hyper vigilant subset of ptsd acute stress disorder occur within 2 days of experiencing trauma event and but the symptom is always within one week uh, one month after the event acute ptsd is uh, defined as ptsd lasts uh, than 3 month chronic is larger than 3 month or more i mean less than 3 month and that more than 3 month is chronic treatment the main stream of treatment is ssri the same in ocd is a first line okay other antidepressant atypical antipsychotic and alpha 1 agonist we are also using in this therapy ssri are the first line cbd are the cognitive you are want to use this antidepressant medication used in treatment of ptsd like uh, however only the ssri and naltrexone which is exer are considered first line treatment tca may be good second line treatment mirtazapine maybe you can also go for a second line treatment mui should be reserved as third line treatment for ptsd paroxetine which is paxil sertraline zoloft fda approved for the q treatment sertraline fda approved for the long term treatment uh, we have you can we use for sertraline if you are going for a long term treatment uh phenazine which is available in nardil may be useful in reducing nightmare flashback insomnia alternative treatment option which is atypical antipsychotic and alpha 1 antagonist uh, anticonvulsant beta blocker may be use a uh, useful augmented agent atypical antipsychotic anticonvulsant may be help reduce irritability impulsive and violent behavior atypical antipsychotic have been shown to effectively reduce the core symptom as well as um it uh, as well for specific information on atypical uh, antipsychotic alpha 1 antagonist prazosin is a mini press available dose between 1 mg to 4 mg reduce nightmares and insomnia so we are giving alpha 1 is arousal domain ko kam karne ke liye so benzodiazepine have not been shown effective so we are not using it in ptsd so i think we have been used benzodiazepine in uh, what kind of ocd one 
you want to evaluate so full remission is defined as 70 percent greater reduction in symptom 50 percent kind of adequate response 25 percent to 50 percent reduction in partial treatment response adequate trial in 6 to 12 weeks antidepressant medication should be dose at the maximum and tolerated dose for a period of four to six weeks treatment should be continued a period of one year with slow gradual taper over the course of course of months or a year it's depending on the patient condition thank you for watching my video please like share and subscribe my channel for more videos if you want uh, me to like to share any suggestion for future videos please do comments it will be highly motivated and pleasurable for me to uh, continue this learning platform for a medical professional um, thank you allah hafiz